All right, you are welcome again. Today, we want to talk about exact equation. How to solve a differential equation that is said to be exact equation. Okay, now let's take a look at this question. Show that this equation is exact and solve it. 2xy minus 3x squared in bracket dx plus x squared plus 2y in bracket dy equal to 0. All right? Here, we are asked to show that this equation is exact and then go further and solve it. Please pay attention. Now, this place that has dx attached to it, we are going to call it a name. And then this side that has dy attached to it, we are going to call it a name. Okay? So this place that is having dx, let's call it m. And then this place that is having dy, let's call it n. Okay? So that means we are going to say that m is equal to 2xy minus 3x squared okay and then n is equal to x squared plus 2x okay good now this place we have seen and we have gotten a function or two functions m and n and we say that m is equal to 2xy minus 3x squared and n is equal to x squared plus 2y Okay, in this place, we are going to differentiate M partially with respect to Y. And then we differentiate N partially with respect to X. Okay, that means we are going to say the partial derivative of M with respect to Y. Okay, so let's go. We have 2XY minus 3X squared. We hold every other variable constant and then differentiate y. So if we do so, in this 2xy, when we differentiate y, it's going to give us 1. 1 times 2x, we have 2x. So the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to 2x. And then let's go to n. We are going to find the partial derivative of n with respect to x. That means we hold every other variable constant and differentiate x. Okay, so here we have x squared plus 2y. When we differentiate this partially with respect to x, it's going to give us 2x. Okay, now, clearly we have seen that the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to 2x. And also the partial derivative of n with respect to x is equal to 2x. So here, we see that the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x equal to 2x. So this statement is what we mean by exact equation. So the variable or the function we have attached to the x when we differentiate it with respect to y and then the function attached to the y we differentiate it with respect to x partially and then we see that these two equations or these two functions they are equal they are the same then that is when we can say that it is exact the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x equal to 2x. So here we say, hence, the equation is exact. I don't know whether you understand what I'm trying to say. Okay, so we call the function that is attached to dx, we call it m, a letter m. And then the one that is attached to dy, we call it n. We differentiate m partially with respect to y and then differentiate n partially with respect to x. So these two derivatives, if they are equal, then we say that the equation that these two 
M and N are coming from is exact. Hello, you get it right? Good. Now, since we have shown that this equation is exact, let's go further and solve. Now, let's go ahead. We are going to say, let's have a function. Let's call this function u of x, y. And then that this function u of x, y is a function such that when you differentiate this function u partially with respect to x, it's going to give you m. And when you differentiate this same function u of x, y partially with respect to y, is going to give you n. That means we're going to say the partial derivative of u with respect to x is equal to m and the partial derivative of u with respect to y is equal to n. You get it right? Good. But you discover that earlier we have the function m to be 2xy minus 3x squared and then the function n to be x squared plus 2y. Is that true? Good. Now, the value for m, we're going to replace it here. And then the value for n, we're going to replace it here. That means we substitute, right? Good. That means we're going to say that the partial derivative of u with respect to x equal to m. In place of m, we replace it with 2xy minus 3x squared. You get it, right? Good. And then the partial derivative of u with respect to y, which is equal to n. Then in place of n, where we have x squared plus 2y, we replace it here, okay? So we say the partial derivative of u with respect to y is equal to x squared plus 2y. Now, this first one, let's call it equation 1, and then this second one, let's call it equation 2. You get it right? Good. Now, the original thing we are looking for or the main thing that we are looking for is to find the function u of x comma y that is what we are looking for okay so from this place we have equation one and equation two we can pick any of them and solve for u okay good okay we have equation one and equation two which one are we going to go with okay um let's go with equation 2, you can use any of them and then you still arrive at the same answer. But let's work with equation 2. In this equation 2, we have the partial derivative of u with respect to y equal to x squared plus 2y. In this case, we are going to integrate this function now with respect to y. Okay, we are going to integrate with respect to y. You know, it is the partial derivative of u with respect to y. Now, we are going to integrate it because we are looking for the main function u. Hello, we are looking for the function what? u of x, y. So, and then we have one part of it, the partial derivative of u with respect to y which is x squared plus 2y. So we integrate it with respect to y. So had it been we are going with the first uh, equation, which is the partial derivative of u with respect to x equal to 2xy minus 3x squared. That means we integrate it with respect to x because it was the, uh, differentiated with respect to x. Okay, so we integrate it with respect to x. Now let's go. We say let's go with equation two okay now that means we integrate this uh equation or this function with respect to y that means we're going to have the integral of the partial derivative of u with respect to y dy equal to the integral of x squared plus 2y dy okay so when we integrate the left hand side we are going to have u then equal to when we integrate the right hand side we are going to have you know we are integrating with respect to 
y okay so in this place we have x squared you are going to have y attached to it right good then we say plus in this place we have 2y is going to give us 2y squared all over 2 okay so 2 cancel 2 then we have y squared plus you know we're supposed to have plus c but i don't want us to use c let's use the letter t t of x okay so in place of c we add t of x you get it right because we are integrating with respect to y so we add t of x attached to it right good now let's go this equation three so as we pick equation two and integrate it with respect to y we have u is equal to x squared y plus y squared plus t of x now let's go again now this same equation that we have u or this function that we have now u we are going to differentiate this function now with respect to x you know we have t of x we differentiate it with respect to x okay now but it's going to give us partial derivative because we have x and y in the function that means we want to have the partial derivative of u with respect to x okay so when we differentiate that is going to have the partial derivative of u with respect to x is equal to this place we have x squared y we differentiate partially with respect to x that means we're going to have 2x y plus here we have y squared we take y squared as a constant that is going to give us zero and then here we have t of x when we differentiate we are going to say t prime of x hello that means it is what differentiated with respect to what to x that's why we have t prime of x now let's go this equation four good now from this place we have the partial derivative of u with respect to x equal to 2xy plus t prime of x and then you know there's a place i told you we are looking for the function u right and then we also say that the partial derivative of u with respect to x is equal to something in equation one now let's bring it in equation one we have the partial derivative of u with respect to x is equal to 2xy minus 3x squared this is equation one right and then the equation four that we have now we say the partial derivative of u with respect to x is equal to 2xy plus t prime of x so that means comparing these two equations now comparing the two of them we have the partial derivative of u with respect to x and then we also have the partial derivative of u with respect to x equal to we have in the first one we have 2xy minus 3x squared and then in the second that is in the fourth equation we have 2xy plus t prime of x so here we have 2xy and then we also have 2xy then minus 3x squared and then we have t prime of x so comparing the two equations we see clearly that t prime of x is equal to minus 3x squared hello is equal to what minus 3x squared we want to find the value of t not t prime so what are we going to do you know t prime of x is talking about differentiated so here it is differentiated i was looking for just ordinary t that means we are going to integrate it hello that means we are going to do it integrate so here we are going to integrate both sides so the left hand side integrate it with respect to x and then the right hand side also integrate with respect to x so when we integrate t prime of x it's going to give us t of x that means the differentiation will go okay good equal to in the right hand side when we integrate 
minus 3x squared. What is going to give us? It's going to give us minus x cubed plus c. Hello. It's going to give us minus x cubed plus c. Let's call this equation 6. Now, let's go again. You know, I told you we are looking for the function u. And we have the first function that we got is equation 3. And then we say that it is u is equal to x squared y plus y squared plus t of x. And now we have gotten the value of t of x. And then we say that t of x is equal to minus x cubed plus c. Let's substitute it here. That means we're going to say that u is equal to x squared y plus y squared minus x cubed plus c. Hello. Yes, this is the solution to the differential equation that we have. So we say that u is equal to x squared y plus y squared minus x cubed plus c. All right? Yes. Thank you very much. Please, if you are new to our YouTube channel, please, I want you to click the subscribe button, like and share our videos. All right? Good. Let's take more examples. You know, with uh, many examples, you'll be familiar and you will understand better. Let's take more examples. Stay blessed.